What up guys, Tim from Red Goat Garage here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for me real quick. Today, you can see, I don't have an engine in the tea bucket anymore. It's over here on the engine stand. It's a bone stock LM7 out of a junkyard, and I'm gonna clean it up and show you how. Stay tuned. So I'm just about ready to start in on this engine and I wanted to show you guys a couple of the tools that I use to clean these dirty old engines. I know everybody's got their technique, but this is what I use. So first off, I wear some sunglasses just to help protect my eyes, some rubber gloves, uh, just a flat scraper. I have some of this sweet patina get gone degreaser that I like. Uh, the biggest thing here is just a, a brass bristle metal brush to actually scrub it um, and I do change it up with a little bit of this engine degreaser but by far the biggest thing that I use is a power washer with 3100 PSI in it so let me get this guy going and uh, we'll show you all right, I went ahead and put some paper towel and all the exhaust and intake ports. And this isn't really gonna stop water from going in the engine, but it's gonna stop grease and any other random debris from going in the engine. But we will try not to spray in there. Then, then it's time just to keep start spraying this stuff. I like to spray this on here, let it soak, and then kind of scrape everything. <clears throat> before I hit it with that pressure washer. So kind of let things soak and give it a little scrubbing, pre-scrub. Then we'll wash it off with the pressure washer. So there's just a degreaser, a little bit of scraping, and hitting it with just a general purpose tip. So a lot of stuff has already come off, but I really want this thing to be pretty much spotless. So I'm gonna spray some of this engine degreaser stuff on here, because it's supposed to be wet when you spray it on anyways. And then I'm gonna do that, and then use this little scrub brush and scrub everything. And then I'm going to hit it with a really fine tip on the pressure washer to really blast some of this gunk out. Uh, one thing to note too is I'm not going to be using this oil pan or really these valve covers for that matter. Um, so I'm not too terribly worried about like cleaning that up. I'm going to be using a Holly valve cover gas or valve covers and a Holly oil pan, the 302 pan. So um, really that's for the, at this point it's just a matter of uh, keeping them on there to keep all this stuff out of the inside of the engine.
as you can see, water sprays absolutely everywhere. That's why I wear the sunglasses, which are also safety glasses. But I want to show you kind of what it looks like at this point in cleaning it up. So much, much better. I'd say it's 90% clean. You can still see in some of these nooks and crannies, there's still some grease tucked away in there. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the engine to get any of the water in the cylinders out and I'll spin the crank a little bit too to kind of help push it out. Then what I like to do is actually dump oil in the cylinders and then again, rotate the engine around and rotate the crank just to kind of lube everything back up. So that way there's no water sitting in here. But I think what I'll do first is uh, get an air chuck and uh, air, air dry it a little bit. I'm gonna take some oil. I like to pour it down the cylinders. Just a good amount. Maybe a cap full, maybe a little bit more. Okay, then I'm gonna rotate the crank a few times. And that way, it'll mix that oil in all the cylinders. So if there is any water in there, hopefully it'll mix with it and prevent the cylinder walls from rusting if the, any water did get inside the engine, which I'm sure there's some that got in there. So um, this will, I'm gonna do this, and generally I'll do this a few times and let the engine lean one way or the other just to kind of help get some of that oil back out. But basically I wanna coat them cylinder walls with, with oil. And the other thing I'll do is I'll pull out the spark plugs and I'll shoot oil in the in the actual spark plug hole to kind of just to, to coat the whole cylinder wall as well. But um, this is kind of step one. So as you guys can see, it's about 90% complete here, nice and clean. Still, some of these nooks and crannies need to be cleaned out. And uh, you know, this is just a pressure washer with some degreaser on there. So. Uh, the, you know, the pressure washer is cold water, not even hot water, and oil and water don't mix, right? So it does a pretty good job of blasting it, but it's not going to get it perfect. But if you can remember how it looked when it began, it's a heck of a lot cleaner. Um, again, I didn't touch the oil pan at all because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that off. But make sure you guys hit subscribe because I want to show you guys one of the tricks I learned from a different YouTube channel on how to paint these blocks so that the paint will actually stick and last. And it's a pretty neat process, um, but I, I'm going to go ahead and get the cleaned up the rest of the way. And how I do that really is just good old fashioned elbow grease. Um, I use a can of brake cleaner and I'll spray it and then scrub it and then spray it and scrub it until it comes perfectly clean. And that's really the only way I've found to get these things 100% clean unless maybe you have some fancy steam cleaner or something like that, but I don't. So I'm going to get to it with uh, some brake cleaner and a scrub brush here and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I got it all cleaned up. All right, here's the tools of the trade here. I got just some plastic brushes, metal wire brushes, and a huge old can of brake cleaner. And basically what I do now is just spray some brake cleaner on there and get in there, <clears throat> scrub it out. So you can see I've started here on the driver's side head cleaning things up, but like on the passenger side, you can still see some dirt in there. So I'm going to keep going on this whole entire engine, but really that's, that's it. It's just a matter of sitting there and scrubbing it and spraying brake cleaner. And then I'll take a paper towel and kind of wipe off when it's wet to, to soak up some of that dirt. But that's it. Just kind of sit there and it just takes a couple hours to do the whole engine. So I'm just about done here cleaning this thing up. As you can see 
huge improvement over when I first pulled this thing out. Now, I didn't get the valve cover spotless because like I said, I'm not going to use these. Same thing with the oil pan. It's still very dirty, but I'm not going to use these. But you can see just what a little bit of power washing, a little bit of a scrub brush and some brake cleaner can really clean these things up and pretty nicely. Get around this other side here. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I do have a probably a little bit more like around the timing chain cover here. I got to get cleaned up, but I'm going to pop this off and replace the timing chain and the gasket. So I figure I'll do that then. Yeah, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm next. What I'm going to do on this thing is I'm going to reseal it. I'm going to paint it. So I have a really cool trick that I learned. So I'm going to show you guys that. So you might want to like I said, hit subscribe so you can catch that one. The other thing I want to show you guys is these uh, exhaust manifold, the little bolts that hold it in, they, they tend to snap on these LS engines. So I'm going to show you how to get those out quick and easy also. And then lastly, I'll be replacing all the valve covers, intake, everything to kind of do a full transformation on this engine. So make sure to tune in and we'll see you next time.